Andy McDowell, Florence Pugh, and Emily Radichkowski embrace risque intimates as outerwear trend, photos. Andy McDowell walked the runway at Paris Fashion Week. Actress Andy McDowell walked the runway at the Le Defile L'Oreal Paris, Walk Your Worth show during Paris Fashion Week. She confidently strutted down the catwalk in patent leather pants and a matching floor-length jacket, paired with a black bra. McDowell wore her signature curly locks down, showing off her natural grays. The Groundhog Day actress decided to embrace her gray hair in 2021, telling Katie Couric in March of this year, I thought it would look good on my face. And when it started growing out during COVID, I saw I was right. She has since received criticism, but that hasn't changed her mind. How old do you think I look? I'm going to be 65. What, do you think I look 75 just because I let my hair go gray, McDowell told Couric, addressing her critics. I don't care. I want to be old. I'm tired of trying to be young. I don't want to be young. I've been young. I just can't keep up the charade. I can't. Florence Pugh turned heads when she arrived to the Valentino fashion show during Paris Fashion Week wearing a baby pink pantsuit, with the top left unbuttoned featuring a bow crop top. She paired the look with small hoop earrings, a pink purse and a micro ponytail. Fans got a kick out of her tiny hairstyle, taking to the star's Instagram comments to joke about it. Girl broke the record for the smallest ponytail ever, one fan wrote, with another chiming in to say, Flo the minuscule ponytail is killing me. Pew sat front row at the show, alongside Andrew Garfield, Penn Badgley, Kris Jenner, and Paris and Nikki Hilton, among others. Model Emily Radichkowski left little to the imagination when she hit the streets of New York City in a see-through dress, showcasing the black bra and thong she had on underneath. She paired the look with black pointy see-through heels and a black purse. Radichkowski was on her way to have dinner with friends, a month after joking on TikTok that she's ready to date anyone who wanted to take her to dinner. She was previously married to movie producer Sebastian Bear McClard, but the two divorced in September 2022, a decision she does not regret.